in a hunt for a medal before at senior level. Indoors, when she made that world indoor final, she just wasn't quite ready to fight for top three. I think she is here. I think she could be anywhere from top three down to six. She's in lane one. Um, some athletes like that, some athletes don't. They're all straight, they're all the same length. To me, it doesn't really matter. Once you have a lane, you have an opportunity. Yeah. I think she can go faster again in this final. I think she's totally ready mentally. Noelle herself and her coach, Noelle, have worked so hard, particularly for this race. So she just needs a really good, clean 12 seconds, no mistakes, capitalise on anyone else's mistakes. OK, the countdown begins and the introductions are about to start. So let's go back to the stadium for Sarah Lavin's final. Thank you, Peter. In lane number eight, uh, Dita Kambunji of Switzerland, just 20 years of age. Ran 12.78 in that semi-final earlier on. Ran a very good race. Sister of Majinga, of course, who's twice medaled already this week in Munich. There's Mitter Gravisgaard, who will run in lane two alongside Sarah Lavin. to the stadium. She will run, as Derby was saying, in lane one. She ran a PB of 12.79 in that semi-final. Can she improve on that in the final? Luka Koshak of Hungary is in lane five. She also ran a PB in the semi-finals of 12.69. There is Bia Sekshukova of Poland. She'll run in lane six. The 21-year-old has a serious chance. As indeed does uh, Serena Sambabayela, 21-year-old from France, who's going to be in lane seven. Really stacked final, this. It's a very, very strong final. Nadine Visser, one of the favourites in lane four, the 27-year-old from the Netherlands, former heptathlete, but so good over the hurdles. This are in four. And in lane three, Cindy Sember representing Great Britain and Northern Ireland. She was quickest in the semi-finals, 12.62. What a moment, what a big moment this yeah. is for Sarah Lavin. Uh, the stadium is hopping. She has nothing to lose. Uh, all the action will be to her right-hand side. Uh, so it's just focus, not to be distracted and run the race over. There was a couple of wee mistakes in her, in her semi-finals, so but they may be fixed and rectified. She can improve on that 12.79. Yeah, the focus is a big thing because there's a lot going on in the stadium. The Germans are getting very excited about stuff going on in the uh, javelin and uh, with the high jump on going as well. But the focus in the stadium now is going to turn to this, the 100 metres hurdles final. It's in December. So good in those semi finals earlier on. I always think that's a great shot back through the hurdles. Ten hurdles for them to negotiate over 100 metres. Sarah Lavin there in lane one, the 28 year old from Limerick. Biggest race of her life to date. <laughs> And they're away, first time in this 100 metres final. And already, Sekshukova of Poland going well. Visser always finishes strongly, but Sekshukova is going to hold on here for Poland. Lavin is going to finish in about fifth place, I think, for Ireland. That's a really good performance from Sarah Lavin. It's a goal for Poland for Pia Sekshukova, who was in control from early on. I thought Visser might put her under a bit more pressure yeah. in the last 20 metres, but it just didn't happen for uh, Bissell there. And Disappointing Sin for Cindy Zemmer. Well, her, her race fell apart halfway through the race. She flattered hurdle four, five and six, but, you know, brilliant run from lane one for Sarah Lavin. Our eyes are on the clock to see where she finished in time-wise, but she certainly was fifth. So it's gold, silver and bronze for Sestikova, Kozak and 
and Kambunji gets a medal to add to the two that her sister has won this week. Visser, fourth in 12.75, and Sarah Lavin, fifth in 12.86. Not quite as quick as her race in the uh, semi-finals. Her time in the semi-finals would have finished her fifth year anyway. Graviscard sixth, and Cindy Sember had a bit of a nightmare final. Samba Mayela seventh for France, but... Sarah Lavin, a fifth place finish in the European Championships. Yeah, she has to be very happy with that. Like, um, it's, you know, if somebody said at the start of the year for Sarah and her team that she'd be a world indoor finalist of 60 metres and fifth in the European Championships, you know, she would have grabbed, grabbed that with both hands. And, you know, it's, it's moving on from this. We see the action here, Khan, from, from the outset here. Uh, and look for uh, Sydney Simber in the middle there, just beside Visser. And there she's gone. So yeah. she was out of the race. Seksikova, the Polish sprinter, kept her form throughout and you can see punching the air with delight as she crossed the line in the gold medal position. Yeah, Semper completely scuppered with that hammering of the... Uh, and, and you made the point earlier on that there are ten obstacles to get over and it can happen in a, in a final in, a sem in any race. And the pressure of, you know, finals do take their toll athletes react differently act, athletes perform differently and you know you have to credit Sarah Lavin she is a championship performer coming out here tonight in the semi-final and running the personal best you know as an Irish athlete all, that's all we can ever ask for that they you know run a personal best and uh, it's something to build on for the coming year. Really good race there by Kambunji as well at just 20 years of age. She's going to be around for quite a while. And for Luka Koshak, a silver medal. Uh, she ran a, a PB in the semi-finals and she ran the exact same time in the final. She equaled her national record in the PB. Gold for Poland, silver for Hungary and bronze for Switzerland, but Sarah Lavin, a very, very creditable fifth place finish in 12.86. Quick break to come from Munich, back with the relays very shortly.